namaste, brothers and sisters, guys and goddesses, magic are coming back at you with another video. Um, in today's topic, I want to address quite a few different things. Hence the title of Smorgasbord of Resources. Uh, but before I get started on that, um, let me explain why. I've started doing these videos and um, why this particular video is going to address a couple different resources. The reason being is that I addressed on my last video on how I got started. And, you know, n not that there was anything wrong with it, but I was forced to learn on my own, research on my own experiment on my own and it took me years to do it because if you haven't looked at my last video on how I got started I said I had gotten tired of the cryptic answers the warnings the constant warnings oh you can't do this without a helper you can't do this without a priest you know same things that Catholicism, Christianity, and all the other religions will tell you, which is complete and utter bullshit. But, you know, for people, for Hoogans and Mambos to charge thousands of dollars to get, to get you initiated, to get you closer to the Orishas, the Loa, the deities in general, that's more bullshit. So, the reason that I'm making this particular video is because I don't want you, dear viewer, to have to go through what I have to go through, what I had to go through, excuse me. Um, like I said, not that there was anything wrong with it, I found that there's something wrong with it. Because I feel like as melanated people, you know, as much as we're bombarded and attacked on a daily basis, I think this information should be given out to us freely. And, you know, I had to do so much study and so much research. And, you know, it made me the magician that I am today. So, I, I thank the ancestors and the deities for the path that was seemingly laid out for me before I even knew knew it. And, you know, the ancestors have spoken and it's time for me to give back. So that's why I am giving you resources today. Okay. But one thing I want to address before I even begin with that is um, my mornings, just want to give you a little background on my mornings. My mornings start with mantras, like the one you hear in the background right now, which is a, a Ganesha mantra. I start with that, I start with Lakshmi, um, and then I probably will go for a 50 minute walk while I'm listening to the music. I'll come back, and um, after I showered and everything, had some breakfast and some coffee. I'll start my morning, because I, I get started very early. I'll start my morning listening to a Bobby Hemet lecture, any of them. That's one of the resources I want to tell you about. Especially if you're trying to get into the occult sciences, Bobby is a great resource to have. You know, he's straight, no filter, straight to the point, and he's funny as well. He's country as shit, but... <laughs> That adds to his charm because he, he's just real with it. You can find any of Bobby's videos, his lectures on YouTube here, or you can go to uh, www.melanindvds.com or Sadnetta has House of Consciousness, Azazel Bay has Bobby lectures. But he's a, he's a great resource to have. So shout out to Bobby. Hope you recover soon, bro. We need you in the community. Um, 
one of the things that I want to address is your health. And that's why I was giving you just a little bit of background on how my morning starts. Your health is one of the most important things. And if you're going to become a cultist, you're going to have to take care of yourself. You have to limit the alcohol, limit the cigarettes, eat right, drink plenty of alkaline water, and just treat yourself right. But treat your brain right as well because your brain and your mind, contrary to what people believe, they're two separate things. I'll say it again. Your brain and your mind, two separate things. Your brain is composed of, I think, 90% water, but it also has electricity. Now you think about that for a second. The whole universe is composed of water and electricity, and so is your brain. Your mind is housed in your brain. So your brain is a repository of your mind. It's part of the universal mind. So the better you take care of it, the more you can become aware and the more you can become attuned to the universe. It's just that simple. So anyway, <laughs> that's all I want to say about that. So. Like I said, one of the um, one of the things that I want to also go over is the differences in religions, particularly our religions, the ATRs, as they call African traditional religions: Voodoo, Palo, Kimbanda, Santeria. Santeria is probably if you're trying to, to just break into the ATRs and get into the, to the ancestors and get to know them, Santeria is probably the way to go. There is a, there is a, let's see, there's a video that uh, George Clinton did called Cosmic Slot. And it's three stories in one movie. One of the movies addressed Santeria. But it was like a story, and Oshun was it. Uh, one of the best ways that you can get to know Santeria, you can go through a priest, or you can get this book. Very good beginner's um, info on the religion of Santeria. It has good information on all of the Orishas as well as it has some, some rituals in the back that you can try. Invocations as well. Of course there's voodoo, but like I addressed in my last video, you can either go the Haitian voodoo route, which involves probably going to Haiti and getting initiated that way, or you can go with voodoo sorcery. Your choice. You want to go with initiation, that's well and fine. I didn't do it that way. I don't feel the need to do that. That's just me personally because I'm not trying to pay all that money. So, um, and then you have Palo, which is in Cuba. All of these religions have a gatekeeper. Just keep in mind, and Kimbanda, I'm sorry. Kimbanda Exu, E Exu. Exu, and there's many aspects of Exu, and Pabajero. That's Kim Bonda. Remember, you have to go through each gatekeeper in order to get to the deity. With Kim Bonda is Exu, Papa Jera. Voodoo is Papa Legba. And Santeria is Elehua. And uh, Palo is uh, Ishu. So. I'm sorry, not Ishu. Is it Ishu? It was Zarabanda, I think. No, I'm sorry. I'm giving you wrong information. Lucero. Sorry about that. But they just don't be confused 
thinking that they're all the same deity because they're not. They have similar aspects or simple, similar characteristics, but they're not the same deity. They're like cousins. You know how you're related? You may look similar, you may have similar characteristics, but you're not the same person. It's the same with these deities. You can piss them off, confusing one with the other. So, I mean, you can get into other traditions, but I suggest getting to know your own ancestors, your bloodline first, before you get into it. And that's been my experience. Um, so let's get into the resources. When you want to become a, a magician, a cultist, um, a mage, what's another word? Um, another word would be sorcerer, whatever. You have to use your resources. TV shows, I know that's going to sound strange, but TV shows, I would say, have about 90% truth in them. Even though Hollywood is going to greatly exaggerate things, uh, most of it, it has truth to it. And they give a lot of secrets in these shows. Like Supernatural with Dean and Sam Winchester. A lot of truth in that. Lots. Then you have American Horror Story. Coven. That was about... The Salem Witches and Voodoo, Marie Laveau. If you can get that season, that's season three, I believe. That shows you who was the more powerful. Now, knowing who controls the media, they're not going to tell you who's more, who's, who's more powerful. Of course, they've always vilified and demonized our traditions. Yet, behind the scenes, they practiced them. I had to stop watching The Witches of East End once they dissed. In one episode, they dissed Voodoo completely. I was like, enough with that. I'm not watching it anymore. You know, but this is something that they do. They want to steer you away from it. That's how powerful it is. Uh, Charmed is another good one. Charmed, I know you say, what? Melanated man watching church? Yes, because there's a lot of truth in the, in the magic that they practice. You know, they practice what is called Wicca, but of course, like I said, they're going to greatly exaggerate everything in it. And then you have another show called uh, it's a cartoon, Avatar: The Last Airbender. Lots of science in that. Whole lot of science. In that. Any anime is going to have a whole lot of sacks. Like Dragon Ball Z. Like I said, Avatar Last Airbender. There's an anime called X. That's really good. So, um, just TV shows, certain movies, certain documentaries, such as. Pope Runyon, who has like a coven out based out of California, you can find hit this as well as uh, the Magic of Solomon, I think, on Amazon. Is that readily available? Um, I watch all kinds of strange things. Like, and back in the '70s, they made a lot of cult movies, and they put a lot of information. One I just finished watching was this one. Again, you can find it on Amazon. Do not be afraid of what this says. It says the Satanic Mass. This is about Anton LeBay. All Satanism is is a counteraction of Christianity and Catholicism because they know the mind control behind that. Do not be afraid. Look at it with an open mind. 
you'll get a lot out of it. Him too. Very important man. Of course they demonized him. He brought occultism to a new level in 1904. Now, he acknowledged that his, his, his guardian angel was a black man, dressed like a king, heard him on the left side of his shoulder, a discorporal entity. He dictated the book of the law. That's another book to get. The book of the law is very poetic. It's very, very metaphoric, but very useful. Here's another one I want to bring to your attention. Dr. Mona Harris. She tells how water is very, very important for your brain. I drink at least in a gallon of alkaline water per day. Not exaggeration. I have so many more that I'm going to have to do a part two to this. Um, but there's some books I want to mention. Also, you're trying to get into this knowledge, it, you're going to have to read and study and research so your brain is going to be oozing from your ears. A uh, couple books I want to mention. The Way of the Sufi. Mayat Magic. A very, very important book. The 48 Laws of Power. The Art of War. The Four Agreements. I got other books to show you. Knowing how to balance your chakras, that's very important. It helps you with your moods and your overall well-being. Trust me, it's important. One of the first books that I ever got that helped me on um, the path was this. If I'm not mistaken, his his teacher was Timothy Leary. They locked him up for the information that he was trying to give out. Now remember, it used to be a crime for melanated people to read. And these days, people won't read if they kill them. But this is a very important book here. Al Manning came out in the 70s also with some very good techniques on mental magic, um, such as this one. These books are now rare. I'm so glad I got them when I did. Here's another one by Al Manning. These rituals work. They're based on your own mental practices, your own mind power, your subconscious mind. Very powerful. Pe very few people um, give worth to what their mind can do. This is why the programming that has been done for centuries to melanated people work the way you know that they do and why so many people are brainwashed they've accepted for so long all the constant bombardment through TV media music they've accepted this so it's easy to mind control the masses um, it will all pay off that's all I want to say I, I like to keep these videos short I'll do a part two to this, and I'll have more resources, but um, it'll all come together once you start reading books, once you, um, once you start looking at certain movies, uh, the lectures 
tarot cards, which can, I, I sell them on my website, www.themagicalelitesupplyshop.com. I'm also available for questions. Any questions that anyone have, I'm, I'm very approachable. I'm easily found on Facebook. Come and find me, friend me. Tell me where you, you saw my video, you wanted to know more, something like that. Give me suggestions on what I can do as far as my store is concerned, what you would like to see on the store. I had a customer the other day just tell me, do you have incense? I said, yeah, would you be interested in incense? She said, yeah, that's be something, but it didn't even dawn on me that um, you know, in a cult shop, incense, that's one of the tools of magic. You should burn it every day. www.themagicalelitesupplyshop.com There's nothing wrong with learning magic, learning occultism. They demonize it once again so that you can steer clear of it, but using your ancient sciences is how you level the playing field. It's plain and simple. The elite, they use magic. They use a lot of magic. They use sizzle magic, like the, the, the sigils you see on certain commercials. There's hidden messages in Disney programs. So, I mean, you know, it levels the playing field. It, you, you have better control of your life and stop thinking everything is left up to fate or to some sky guy, sky daddy, I like to call him, that he's in control. That's the most ridiculous thing I ever heard in my life. Remember, I grew up Catholic. So, these days, those things just sound really preposterous to me. Again, I will do another video. I didn't address nearly the resources that I want to give you. Uh, I have so many books. I have so many lectures and movies that I would just love to, um, to give to you so that you can study. Once you start reading, researching, practicing, looking at movies and start paying attention, things will start to click. You may think at first that it is not and that you're not getting it, but you'll, you'll be looking at something one day, you'll be like, oh, I heard that somewhere, or oh, I read that somewhere. It'll start to click because your mind is powerful. Your subconscious mind picks up on everything. It's just a matter of you drawing it out. Okay. So, with that being said, I'll do a part two to this, and I will do these with more frequency. I've been asked to. That, I humbly say thank you for that. That lets me know that what I'm saying and what I'm bringing to you is being heard. This is Magic LaCroix signing out. I'll see you probably next week. Peace and blessings. Much love.